Yeah. Well, oh my God. Well, for sure. Thank you. Uh, this is, I think you know Oscar, what's the crack, guys? You're the Mac Life. Yep, yep. Connor, uh, highest paid boxing debut and now highest paid acting debut. Go come on, man. And the highest paid UFC fighter of all time. Keep those highest paids coming, man. Lord knows. The Lord knows I work for it. For damn sure. I know that sometimes they talk about actors as method acting and stuff, but yeah. I feel like you might have method acted this role for years now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I definitely was playing a role. You know, you know, no one knows the real Connor. That's the truth of it. And that lends well into this craft. You know, I feel like my life is very much rem so removed from reality as it is, you know, in the public sphere so so much and kind of just, you know, out of the eye, if you get me. And I feel like I could play any role. So this was a good role to play and I, I done my best. Did the media tour with Aldo prepare you for this media tour? Because you've been working hard. Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's tough, man. These, these things... These tours are difficult. And you know what? I'm the type of person that celebrates at the starting line. I get excited. So we finished the first night, the first day of, of New York, and then we still had four more days of New York. And then we started to go to Texas and do four days. But we're only at the finish on one day, and I get excited, and then I start, you know, celebrating. And then, you know, and then it's tough to get up the next day, you know, and it just makes it harder for yourself. So it's just experience, you know? Let's talk fighting. You want to get yeah. back in that cage. Yeah. It feels like every time you're brought up, they kind yeah. of just they, they don't commit. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? When are you getting back in there? Who against? You yeah, know, I'm wrapping up this tour. I've got the pa St. Patrick's Day festivities going. And then I'm going to get back and regroup. I'm going to test myself physical-wise on, on, on the treadmill and do the ram test and, and go about the McGregor fast way and get, my, get, get myself right back. I had a camp in Cannes, the south of France. I had a camp in Dubai at World Champions Training with me where I was hoping for a December date, then a January date, and then it keeps getting pushed back. Then I lose interest and stop training for a while. Not stop training, I always train, but stop full training and, and drinking a little bit. Hold on. So I'm going to go back now, regroup, get full tested, and get ready to rock. So, and then the date's going to come, and then I'll be ready to rock. Hello, Magazine, how are you guys? How are you guys? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Obviously, it is your first acting debut. Yeah. Um, so, did you get any, like, valuable kind of acting advice from Jake? Oh, for sure. I would have been, I would have been, I would have been in no shape to do this without Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. and director Doug Lyman. I, I s absorbed the information like a sponge off of them, and I was asking questions every single day, every single set, every single scene. And we, we, you know, I'm blessed. I really am. I'm, I'm lucky or something. You know, God put me here because, you know, I landed on my feet right at the top. Jake is a veteran of the game. Doug Lyman's a veteran of the game. Joel Silver's a veteran producer. And here we are, rock on. And you look like you were having so much fun yeah. on set. What would be your ultimate movie role? What, what? What would be your ultimate movie role? Yes, I don't know. I thought, I mean, this one, I'm happy with this one for the minute. Okay. I mean, it took a lot of hard work to do this one. Yeah. I'm going to just regroup after this, get back into the gym and get ready for the fight. Right, Thank you so much. Question. I'm about to see the movie for the first time, and I've told her nothing about no oh. scenes. So, mother, there's a scene, you know, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go past all these questions about, okay, this is your first acting role. What drew you to this film in particular? You know, for me, it was it was timing. I, you know, I had the injury in the last fight that I was recovering. I was lifting and getting hip, getting, you know, putting on muscle. So, you know, the character called for that. And then they came to me saying what the movie was, Roadhouse. I'm a big fan of the original. I'm a big fan of Patrick Swayze. And then, you know, who's in the movie? Jake Gyllenhaal's in the movie. Who's directing the movie? Doug, Doug Lyman's directing the movie. And who's producing Joel Silver? You know, it was all just top end people. And I just, and then also the UFC is involved in this one. So it's not, you know, it's, it's a re, it's a reimagination, not a remake. So, uh, I was just, you know, it was a sign, I just took it and went for it, you know. I listened to the, to the cast and the team and they were very patient with me and very helpful. It's very weird listening to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah it's 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 echoes. But uh, I was blessed. I'm a lucky artist, SOB, yeah, and I'm blessed with the class I had and friends for life I've made on this. And, you know, you're going to enjoy this movie this evening. It's a real relaxing movie. And I know that sounds strange because it's a fight and an action and bar fights and all the rest. But for me, you're going to sit here and when the scene start kicking in and you'll think about what's outside. It's raining outside in London City, beautiful London City and wild London City and the London City that we love. But we're going to take you away on an escape and you're going to really enjoy this. So sit in and relax and enjoy this and, you know, take pleasure in our hard work because trust me, it was hard, hard work. <laughs> well, you said that well, thank you. Like 
is everyone's here to celebrate you and your performance of Knox is getting rave reviews. How does it feel celebrating in London? You know, I'm here with my beautiful family. I'm proud of the work we put in. I'm hoping my, you know, I hope my family are proud of me. And it'll, be my, it'll be the first time my mother gets to see it, my father, my sister. And uh, I'm excited. I'm happy. It was hard work. You know, fighting compared to this was easy. And I'm excited and eager to get back to the fight game because this is a tough business. And I have so much respect for everyone in it. What was the most challenging thing about getting this character? You know, I had to just turn the crazy down a notch, you know, I turned Conor McGregor down a notch. I watched it this morning, I don't know, you might turn it up a bit, sir. No, I'm joking. <laughs> notch, is, notch is a wild man, I'm not to be messed with. He's a man about his business, and he was there to do a job. And that's it, I just channeled, channeled that, and you know, tried to understand who he was, and you know, just went with it, just with my instinct as well. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. We're Conor McGregor's outlet, so obviously a lot of our questions are going to be around him. Yeah. I'm sure as an actor, trained actor, when you are told, hey, I'm going to be feel, I mean, alongside a guy who's never acted professionally before, yeah. there must be some trepidation. So were you pleasantly surprised when he started acting and it turns out the guy could actually act? I don't think I had any trepidation because I think Connor is someone who has such a strong work ethic doing what he does every day and training every day so I don't think it was I didn't think it was gonna be hard for him um, and I was just excited to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Connor McGregor that's iconic and he was such a nice guy he wanted to learn and he asked questions and he was so curious all the time yeah was uh, what was it like hanging around with him offset right he's a, he's a fun guy he can be a bit of a hurricane sometimes you got to keep up with the energy how's it being doing the media tour with him and uh, just experience the Connor McGregor vibe the man can drink whiskey. The man can drink whiskey, and I learned my lesson in Texas. I cannot keep up with Conor McGregor, and I should not try. But he's such a fun time. Um, he gave me a personalized whiskey with my name on it today, so that will be uh, hung next to every trophy I have in my house. Yeah, he's the nicest guy ever. He's such a fun dude, and he loves his family, and he loves to be here, and he loves the movie. Keeping up drinking with Conor is a mistake many of us have tried to fail. Huge. Yeah, just don't do it. You can't do it. The guy's a beast. Thanks, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hello,